Welcome to Heritage Studies 3. My name is Mrs. Lawson and I'm looking forward to studying the regions of the world with you. As we study each region, we'll learn about its geography and climates, governments, resources, cultures, and religions. An introduction to each region of the world will be made by Zorb. We'll see the world from the unique perspective of his spaceship. In the outback, you can find a very intriguing structure called the Uluru. It is the largest rock on the planet. We'll learn about the amazing animal and plant life in the different regions. The jaguar may not be the king of the beasts, but it is the third largest cat in the world. You'll enjoy following Wendell as he travels the globe and learns about special places. Step farming is where farmers dig steps into slanted land to create flat surfaces for plants to grow on. The Heritage Kids will be joining us as we study world regions. They'll also bring us our vocabulary words. Well, hello friends, we have some vocabulary words. Thanks so much. During our review lessons, you'll enjoy making an explorer's journal. I'm looking forward to learning about world regions with you. This is going to be an exciting course. Hello, my name is Mrs. Overly and I am so excited to be your science teacher this semester. Join our super secret science spy as he investigates famous scientists through history. So, you need information about plant scientists. I know a few big names in that field of intelligence. In future me, Ben will talk about the different jobs he wants to have when he grows up. Hi, I'm Ben. I decided that I'm going to be a civil engineer. Put on your lab coats for invest exploration as we perform science experiments. Investigations. Explorations. Invest explorations. Welcome back to Invest Explorations. Today, Libby and I are going to do an exploration called blubber, feathers, and fur. In SAFE, learn about how to stay aware for emergencies. SAFE, staying aware for emergencies. While on safety patrol, our heroes Darren and Riley sense that someone is in danger. Oh no, that girl could get shocked. Yeah, it's not safe to have electrical cords near water. In Snapshot Science, take an old-fashioned look at nature. Welcome to Snapshot Science. Weather can be changed by air pressure, temperature, wind, and moisture in the atmosphere. Watch Dr. Smart's and hands-on science as he conducts fun science experiments. Abby and Daniel are checking out different kinds of matter using the instructions I've given them. In Field Report, study fascinating science facts. After all the research I've been doing, I thought I'd take a break and have a snack. One of my favorites is crackers with a little honey on top. You know, I'm not the only one who likes honey. Animals like bears and badgers enjoy it too. Thank you for joining us this semester. See you soon. Hi, I am Mrs. Gerald, and I am so excited to be your English teacher this year. This is going to be a great year. Join us as we find out about each chapter's theme from Theo in Chalked Up. I'm Theo, and I've got a great theory for you today. <laughs> By great, I mean soft and fuzzy. <laughs> I was at the yarn shop, picking out yarn for the socks that I'm going to knit this week. 
Then in Super Sleuth, we'll try to outfox crime as we look at various parts of speech. Okay, so far we have off the beaten path, beside a weathered barn, and at twilight. I think I'm starting to get a clearer picture about what this place looks like, but I wonder where the secret message is trying to lead us. Join Jack as he searches for Professor Winston Higglesworth II. That's his ferret. And we will learn about how we can use English well. Oh, hey, my curios. These are really special, rare, unusual items. I've collected a bunch over the years. I keep them here to remind me of all the different jobs I've done, things I've seen, lessons I've learned, and people I've met, like <laughs> this feather. And finally, we'll learn about different grammar concepts with Jeffrey and Ember in Pen and Flame. The beautiful, large, old, white English stone inn I mean, that sounds better, but that's still a mouthful. Yes, with a name as long as that, this inn may need the largest sign in the country. A beautiful, large, new sign for a beautiful, large, old inn. Coming right up. Thank you so much for joining us this year. See you soon. I'm Mrs. Brennan. I hope you'll be joining me for Math 6. We'll be building on your knowledge of fractions, decimals, measurements, and geometry concepts, and we'll introduce new concepts such as statistics and algebraic equations. When the topics are more challenging, we'll listen in as Maxine gives advice on Maxine's math line. It's time for Maxine's Math Line. You have 36 cat figurines. And you want to purchase eight more? Is this a math problem or a decorating disaster? We'll begin each chapter with an essential question, such as, what is math all about? Or, how can I understand God's world? When we need to answer those questions, the greatest mathematician in the world will share some of his wisdom. And now it's time for the greatest mathematician in the world. Being the greatest mathematician in the world is about more than solving equations. No one knows a lot, but he's not the only great mathematician. Thaddeus T. Willoughby will attempt to travel through time and introduce us to a few ancient mathematicians. Welcome back! Today is a groundbreaking, time-shaking, history-making day! I'm going farther into the past than I've ever gone before! Back to the 6th century BC! Where to? Glad you asked! I'll show you! Do you enjoy using the engineering design process? Matthew Tripp Walker will guide you through four fun STEM activities. I've always been fond of bridges. I just think there's something meaningful about how they connect two separate places. Of course, I'll be modeling equations to help you continue to grow in your understanding and love of math. I hope we'll be working together soon. Hello, my name is Mrs. Kofer, and I'm so excited to be your literature teacher this year. In Literature 6, we'll explore many different genres of literature. We'll read realistic fiction and fantasy, and we'll also learn a lot about a variety of topics by reading some nonfiction. We'll tackle ethics and worldview questions in the segment Frame of Reference. But there are some frames that really change how you see. Religion is one of those frames. It affects your whole worldview. So a flawed religion means a flawed view of life. We will also feature different literary excerpts. As Mr. Rat walked along, he kept mostly to the ditch. He noticed a great commotion up the road. And soon a grand procession came in view. 
It was the king and his retinue. Join Sophie in Nightly Notes as she teaches us about literary tools. What do you think? Do I look tired? Baggy eyes? I've been spending a lot of time plotting. <laughs> yeah, not that type of plotting. It's for my book. Most stories have a plot and a series of events that follow this mountain-like pattern. Thanks for joining me this year. See you soon. Hi, I'm Mr. Black, and I'm so excited to be your life science teacher this year. This is going to be a great year. Join us as we learn scientific principles and ideas in the segment IQ's presentation. Okay, good. That was a strong opening statement. Attention getting and authoritative. Uh, let, let's, let's get this mop out of the final shot. Sorry. And note to self, uh, edit this out of the final video. Then, and just think about it, we'll take a moment to look at some interesting scientific happenings. Madagascar exhibits tons of rare flora and fauna, like giant baobab trees, playful lemurs, like the Indri, delicate rosy periwinkles, and much, much more. In fact, the majority of animals found in Madagascar aren't native to any other country in the world. In Guts and Stuff, we'll take a look at inside different cycles and systems. This is a painted lady butterfly. Isn't she pretty? Well, she didn't always look this nice. Butterflies have an intricate life cycle with some awkward stages along the way. <laughs> kind of like some of us. Let's take a closer look. And finally, we'll hear about interesting developments in the scientific field in Headline Science. Welcome to Headline Science. I'm Brent. And I'm Wilbur. Today is all about the abundant, versatile, and indispensable carbohydrate cellulose. Cellulose makes up the cell walls in plants, but it's also important for animals and humans. Have you ever been told that you need more fiber in your diet? Dietary fiber comes from cellulose, and most doctors believe that it's necessary for digestive health. Which is kind of ironic, since people and most animals can't digest cellulose. Thank you so much for joining us this year. See you soon! Welcome. My name is Mrs. Emke, and I am so excited to be your culture geography teacher. This year, in our segment, Celebrations, we will observe festivals around the world, even some that are totally foreign to us. My favorite holiday is definitely Christmas. Sure, other holidays are cool too, but Christmas turns the world into a magic fantasy land. I mean, when else is it perfectly acceptable to stand outside someone's house singing as loudly as you can? We will also explore top spots from around the world. Famous cities that have a big reputation. Our city today is a non-stop parade of stunning sights and eclectic culture. Rio de Janeiro was founded in 1565 by the Portuguese. Join Just a Taste to uncover different cultures and foods from all over the world. Welcome to Just a Taste. I'm Chef Bernard, and why am I talking like that? It's because I've got a delightful recipe for you today. I'm making crepes. Listen to Chloe as she talks about all the different places she will travel to someday, even some that aren't on planet Earth. Hi everyone, I'm Chloe, and there are basically two things you need to know about me. One, I wanna visit like every place in the world. And two, I like wanna visit every place in the world. Take a closer look at different religions from around the world with our segment, Viewology. This is Viewology, a quick study of beliefs throughout our world. Today, let's take a look at Mormonism. Buckle up for a remarkable voyage around the world in cultural geography. See you soon. Hi, my name is Mr. Harmon. I can't wait for you to join me on our journey through Algebra 1. As we continue beyond pre-algebra, we're going to cover equations, inequalities, functions, exponents, radicals, polynomials, and quadratics. We will learn about ways that math applies to everyday living in a series called In Real Life. 
Living on this planet is expensive. Cars cost tens of thousands of dollars and houses hundreds of thousands. Not many people have that much money just chilling in their bank account. To make those purchases, they borrow money, take out loans. Banks, or other miscellaneous money lending institutions, charge a fee, i.e. interests, on any amount borrowed. We will discover some math hacks to help you in sticky math situations. Functions. They're not going away. They're essential for higher mathematics. So being able to understand and write them is important. The three main parts of a function are the input, the function rule, and the output. We will study different worldview situations in the segments A Brief Word. Reasoning is a powerful gift from God. It can help us with things like drawing conclusions and connecting point A to point C. But it shouldn't be surprising that it has its limits. Thanks for joining me this year. See you soon. Hello, my name is Mr. Spurgeon, and I'm very excited to lead you through Bible doctrines this year. And in this course, we will be studying the major doctrines of the Christian faith. But not only will we be studying doctrine, but we will investigate how doctrine is formed using the scriptures and then showcase how doctrine can be applied to everyday life. We will overview the doctrinal emphasis of each unit in our segment series, A Firm Foundation. All Christian doctrine culminates in one final event, the triumph of God at the end of time. Eschatology, the study of last things, is one of the most exciting doctrines of Christianity. All of God's promises and purposes will be fulfilled, and the inherent goodness of the universe that was lost after the fall will be restored. God's creation will be perfect again. In the segment series, At the Core, watch as Ben and Emma debate two sides of a doctrinal debate and see what the Bible really says about different issues. Hey everyone, I'm Ben. And I'm Emma. And welcome to At the Core. Each episode we present two sides of a doctrinal debate, even those we don't agree with. This week's topic is, is it okay for God to be jealous? Okay, this should be simple, right? Jealousy is a sin and God can't sin. Problem solved. Well, not really. <sighs> I knew this would be too good to be true. Thanks for joining me for this course. I'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Mrs. Bullock, and I am your American government teacher this year. We are going to have a fantastic year. In government intelligence, we'll learn about different facets of America's government. While there isn't a rule about how many judges or justices can sit at one time, there have been nine seats on the court since the mid-1800s. Once justices join the court, they hold their positions for life. That is, if they don't retire or get impeached. We'll uncover interesting information in Fast Facts about important American figures. Number one. John Marshall fought valiantly in the Revolutionary War. He was an officer under George Washington and endured the infamous winter at Valley Forge. And finally, we'll hear the inside story from local officials about their experiences in government. Usually you don't see an ethical drive for most legislation, but through it all, you know the legislators that are driven um, by uh, spiritual considerations. Thank you so much for joining us this year. See you soon. Hello, my name is Mrs. Snow, and I'm honored to be your footsteps for four teacher. 
We'll enjoy different books and stories read aloud in the series Storytime. Storytime! Hi friends, are you ready for another story? It's Storytime, and Max's friend Sam is here again to listen. Today's story is about a Native American boy named Moki. It's called Moki's Arrowhead. In Community Helpers, we'll talk about different leaders in our community. Our communities are full of many people who do different things. Some people have jobs that help keep us safe, like firefighters. In Make It Studio, watch as we make fun crafts together. Hey, in the Make It Studio today, we are making art with our fingers. Join Ollie in Ollie's Wonder Box as he teaches us about different subjects. It's Ollie's Wonder Box! <laughs> Have you ever wanted to go up high? Higher than the sky? The place beyond our sky is called outer space. It's where the sun stays, up with the moon and the stars. I love to look at the stars at night. We'll also use songs to teach. Thank you for joining me and all my friends. See you soon.